Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Grixis Devils. What's going on, guys, and welcome back to It Resolves. We got another standard gameplay video for you guys today. I am beyond excited. Before we jump into this, uh, I just want to mention one quick thing. Our Patreon tiers did change uh, over this, well, today, in fact. Uh, it's July 1st. So uh, all of the Patreon tiers kind of got mixed up a little bit. Some, some different uh, rewards are available, including the new reanimator pack, which I think is really exciting. What we're doing now, instead of having patrons vote uh, at multiple times throughout the month, I'm just creating a themed pack. Uh, that is going to be the new proxy pack that's announced every month. Obviously, you guys can pick up throughout the month. So if you want to check that out, support the content, and pick up some awesome printed proxies, uh, it's a great way to do that. Uh, it, it's a great way to support the channel. We really do appreciate it, guys. It does mean a lot to us. But let's talk about today's deck. Uh, this deck is bad. I'm just going to go ahead and say that now. Uh, this is a silly idea that I had uh, that truthfully I even debated about just not playing for you guys because I don't think it's very good. Um, but I was able to squeak out a few games in practice. I I've played just a handful of games in practice just to kind of wrap my head around this and fine tune it, of course, a little bit. Um, and again, it's not good, but it's fun. Uh, and so today's goal is simply to end the week on a high note, have some fun with it, even if we don't get any wins, uh, which is totally fine by me. Uh, the idea here is that this is a Grixis Devils deck, so there's a lot of devil quote unquote creation out of this. So we're actually going to start at the top end with Burn Down the House where you can create 1-1 one, one red devil creature tokens with when they die, they deal one damage to the opponent, or to any target, I should say. Uh, normally, burn down the house is obviously used as the sweeper mechanic, uh, dealing five damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Certainly, that's a possibility. If we need to do it, we will do it. But it works really well on the other side with cards like Devilish Valet, uh, which is also a devil. Um, that you know obviously just throwing three creatures down is generally enough to get this guy up to a good healthy uh power uh number whatever level uh and attack him for quite a bit of damage hopefully finishing the game right there uh if not it's okay we've got other ways we can do it we do have zariel uh, Archduke here uh, just to be able to spit out some tokens and then also give everything plus one plus one gain haste uh, What's nice is that that plus ability works great with the valet because again if you plus up first then play another extra devil of some kind or creature of whatever kind uh, This starts at two not at one. So you're actually doubling the the two not the one so it's exponentially growing just a little bit quicker. Uh, the most most of this deck is actually focused on removal, as you'll see. So we do have the Flame Blessed Bolt. We've got Spike Field Hazard. Also helps to smooth out some land drops. Uh, Cathartic Pyre. Good option here because, again, we do kind of want to dig into our deck a little bit. And so the, the Cathartic Pyre being instant speed is really nice. We can kind of choose what makes the most sense. I do have the Adversary in here just as a way of um, kind of replaying some stuff later on. This plays a little bit like a control deck in the early turns. Uh, and so you can actually hold off on the Adversary pretty reasonably. Uh, we do have the Epicure here as well. This gives us a blood token. We have no other use for the blood token other than drawing. Um, but it is actually kind of helpful depending on our our draws throughout the game uh, and then Omnixilis is here of course because he also creates red devils but in particular we don't have to minus Omnixilis to get the devil we've got plenty of other options for it and so this actually allows us uh, to very easily just start plussing these up and still get the extra value uh, we do have Maestro's Charm here just again kind of a nice card selection hit uh, and does a lot of stuff for us removal gains us some life kind of whatever you need it to do uh, and then one card that really spawned the idea for the deck here was Maestro's Diabolist. Uh, it's a 1-4 Death Touch Haste. Whenever it attacks, if you don't control a Devil Token, create one. Uh, and it's kind of not great, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, but I just thought it'd be a fun card to kind of try and build around a little bit here. And so that's kind of what we did. Uh, again, don't think it's very good. Don't think we're going to get wins, maybe at all. Uh, but we're going to have a fun time doing it, guys. I do appreciate everybody watching, supporting the content. It's been an absolute pleasure this week. We've had a lot of great comments. So thank you guys so much. Let's jump right in. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And uh, actually, this is a pretty reasonable keep. We've got the, the turn one play here uh, with 
Cathartic Pyre or Flame Blessed Bolt later on. We certainly do want uh, a little bit more mana, uh, in particular black mana, uh, but that would be very helpful. Um, other than that, I'm feeling okay about this. We'll see how it goes. Uh, opponent definitely signal, we're signaling to the opponent at this point with the etching that, hey, we're probably pretty aggressive, uh, which we kind of are, not really, um, but <laughs> certainly is an option to be aggressive. Um, let's go ahead and play this out for black here. Uh, and unfortunately, I think that's it. I think we just kind of wait. Uh, we do have, of course, Cathartic Pyre and Flame Bless Bolt, so no matter what the opponent does here, we've got options. Nice. All right, sick. Let's do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the Diabolist out here. My expectation is that they're running some kind of removal slash counters and whatever. The nice thing about this is it's a little bit tricky to deal with once it's on the battlefield. Obviously they can just draw your disruption it perfectly fine, um, but it, it is a little bit trickier to deal with. The Thundering Rebuke play is really the big one to be able to, uh, to efficiently deal with it. Okay. Um, I think the play is pretty clear here. I'm going to go for the casualty play. Let's do this. Um, I will minus one of these just so we've got the blocker, of course. Um, but this actually is kind of an interesting one because now, obviously, this does trade up regardless of what happens. If this stays on the field, if not, we just shoot him for one. Uh, looks like they're a teamer. That's fascinating. Um, but now, of course, we've just got the Obnixilis play available to us. And what we can do is, like, kind of really start to get them. <laughs> uh, we certainly don't want to uh, be too aggressive with it, but we could drop an Obnixilis on top of more Obnixilis, uh, depending on how we do this. So um, I am going to block here uh, because we do just get to then trade off with the uh, token. Um, we do lose, of course, the Devil, but we actually have the Valet that can come down next turn. Really interesting. I guess they had to do it that way. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, well, how do we want to do this? We really don't have a better option other than playing the Valet first, I think, and then just kind of going for the pluses here. Um, the reason being, we don't have two red mana. Uh, we could have Cathartic Pyred. Uh, which is certainly a reasonable option, but uh, I think at this point we're just kind of on the Obnixilis play as best we can. This is very good. Um, thankfully, they can't use this yet uh, because copying their Goldspan Dragon would certainly be a terrible option um, for us. Uh, but we'll see what we can do here. Cool. Interesting. One thing to consider as well, the Obnixilis with Devilish Valet play is a pretty awesome one. Um, it allows you to really go crazy with the Obnixilis if you can get there. Uh, we are not there, not even close yet, but it is an option. Um, and unfortunately here, we are very out of luck. Uh, we just don't have very much, do we? I think we have to Cathartic Fire right away. Uh, we'll discard you and probably a bolt. Okay, land is good. I mean, it's not great, but it is good. We can go ahead and kill this uh, because we kind of just need to. Um, interesting. Um, yeah, I think we just plus here. They're, they're obviously just going to take the damage, if I had to guess. It doesn't really matter to them, uh, I imagine. Um... Like I said, guys, we're probably not going to win a single game today, but that's okay. It's not its not all about winning. Today, we're about having some fun. Uh, sure. Alright, so obviously Obnixilis is gone. <coughs> sure. Um, I'm trying to think if we can, if there's a way, so what, 2, 4, 8 would be what Devilish Valet would be at if that survived. Yeah, okay. So, burn down the house seems like the only semi-reasonable option here. Even that's not great, to be honest. Uh, because they obviously still have the Titan. Uh, let's attack. They're obviously going to block, sure. Okay. Had to try. Uh, let's burn down the house. 
Uh, I mean, that was a pretty good burn down the house, to be fair. <laughs> uh, it just isn't going to get the win here, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we, we got a little behind on mana in that game, to be fair. Um, I do think if we had had some extra lands there, we could have doubled up and kind of dealt with some things a little bit sooner. Uh, may not have won us the game for sure, but maybe could have gotten a little better. But that's okay. Again, guys, we're, we're here to have fun today. I'm not super stressed about it. Uh, this is kind of a silly deck anyway, let's be honest. Uh, yeah. Very good. Okay, so they're going to attack with the Titan. Uh, I am glad we killed the uh, whatchamacallit, though, because that would have been a problem. All right. Uh, I mean, we literally can't do anything else, so I think we're just going to die. <laughs> does this have trample? Totally does. All right, I'm going to good game them here. Let's go ahead and concede, guys. Let's jump into game two. The brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing proxy pack, please visit patreon.com slash itresolves for details. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Let's see how this one goes. Um, do we like this hand? Yeah, kind of. It's not great, but I, I mean, it's playable. What's kind of nice here is we have the adversary, which can come down and obviously attack in on turn two if we so choose. Uh, and then turn three, we've got plenty of other options. So yeah, I mean, I think this is okay. Let's go ahead and play the black side here. Let's uh, let's get the attack in early. Um, don't really expect the adversary to stick around. Generally, uh, I don't think it does. But <laughs> not against this deck. This is obviously Boros Aggro. They're gonna get their uh, their three three down here, which is perfectly reasonable. Um, all right. Land is obvious. Let's go this route. Um, and I will actually just go ahead and attack in. Uh, we are accepting the fact that we're probably going to take a little bit of damage this turn. The important thing, though, is that we are building out our board to the point where burn isn't necessarily going to deal with everything. Uh, and we do have a burn down the house here, so we've got, you know, some secondary options to protect ourselves. Chances are they're not going to beat us this turn, uh, though they could certainly do quite a bit of damage so we do have to be considerate of that but uh i i think we're okay to to attack him with everything there hopeful initiate sure uh what's really nice is burn down the house while it's not an instant win of course against any deck it's like a pretty reasonable way to just end the game uh against these like creature aggressive style decks uh sure they're gonna play with fire get rid of that makes total sense um, let's do this. Uh, yeah, we're going to do some silly plays. Um, let's casualty. Let's do this. Uh, let's, let's just ping them, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and epicure as well. Uh, mostly just to get an extra blocker here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this one out, and let's do this. I think that's pretty reasonable. We could have attacked, I guess, first, but um, I'm actually just going to wait. My thing is, this the Diabolus like, alone makes it kind of tricky for them to attack in, because it does just have Death Touch, so like, it's not easy for them to be able to, uh, to just swing in all out. Now, if they do... Cool. We we got options. Um, I think we just block like that and take the two. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure they can burn the uh, Diabolist here. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. Uh, but it does have Death Touch, so that's dead. Uh, and again, we're kind of just trying to get to a point where we don't have to worry about uh, burning down the house for all of their stuff. Did this? Oh, it exiles. Oh, bad block on my end. That was silly. Okay. Now we definitely just burn down the house, I think. Uh, although, <laughs> hear me out. Um, is it the safer play, though? It's definitely the safer play to burn down the house, isn't it? Although, I don't know. 
here's my thing. They really don't have a lot going on. Um, and so I kind of like the idea of being able to just start gaining some of this life back. And I think we just pass. We'll see. Um, here's the thing. Our long game is like a million times better than their long game. So I'm not that worried. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is going to be fun. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. This is the uh, the fun devilish valet play. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to hold on to the land here. Um, so let's see. I mean... I'm just going to do this. Obviously, they can kill one of the 1-1s one -ones for basically free. Uh, sure. I don't particularly care about that order, so that's fine. Um, yeah, sick. All right. Um, oh, that's actually really good. Um, so that doesn't mean... No, it does mean they could definitely just kill Obnixilis here if they attack. But the trick is they lose on the crackback. So I guess no matter what, we're kind of good. Uh, because we, we just get to plus up Obnixilis and win next turn regardless. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> seems pretty straightforward. Uh, here's the thing, no matter what, we, we have the win because we can attack with the two 1-1s, one the Devils, and when they die, uh, we still get to... Yeah, we still get to... There it is. We did it. We got a win. Guys, I'm so proud of us. I was not expecting to get any wins this time around. Uh, let's jump into a game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Probably going to be our final game. Um, yes, we keep the Maestro's Charm is a bit awkward. That's one of the things that I will say about this deck is like the mana is not great, um, <laughs> which is not a surprise, I don't think, to anyone. But it is just something to consider that. Uh, because you're splashing blue very lightly, uh, basically for this and the the Diabolist or whatever, like, there's not a whole lot to it, you know what I mean? Um, but it's fine. Oh, well this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, do we attack? I think I will. I'm going to I'm going to see what happens. Uh there's a bit of a risk anytime somebody plays a card like this like you know they're trying to do something cheeky. Uh so yep, and there's the cheeky. They get to crew this up. That's so sick. Um yeah, for sure. I mean, I can't be upset. This is just a cool play. Like, you know what I mean? That's just awesome. Good on the opponent. That's a really cool way to do it. Uh, yeah. Blue mana would be great. Uh, that'd be really solid. That is not blue. Um. All right. Uh, I will casualty here. Um. That I mean. This isn't a great play. We're definitely out of luck here, but uh, we might as well go ahead and do this just to just to prolong the agony a little bit. Um, Omnixilis is still just such a fun card to me. Uh, I know there's a lot of answers for it. Like burn down the house is a great way to just solve the problem, but um, this is still just a really cool freaking card. Vehicles, man, I haven't seen a vehicles deck in a long time, but I like it. It's really sick. All right, let's see what the opponent decides to do. Okay. Nice. Which is the, okay, so this is the token. So we want to block here because we can actually just, uh, th at that point, we can actually replay the other Obnixilis and still keep the token, uh, which is actually really important. The Devil does deal with the Mechanist, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm trying to think if we have a good answer to any of this, and the answer is, I think, obscenely no. Um, <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Um, we can just drop the other Obnixilis. I think we'll do that. Why not? Let's just let's just be annoying. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like being annoying. Uh, let's do this. So now we get the little one one, and let's do this. Gains us some life back. So here's here's the trick. <laughs> We have the Flame Blessed Bolt. Uh, part of the removal package incentive behind this entire deck is that it's all instant speed removal. So when they activate the Colossal Plow and attack in, we can block with the Devil, <laughs> kill one of these guys, and then Flame Blessed Bolt the, the thing, right? And they probably are just gonna attack with everything, which is fine, but, yep, they're gonna crew, makes sense. Sure. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, we're we're not gonna win this game, but this is gonna be a pretty fun play. Not gonna lie. Oh, they're both attacking here. Okay. Okay, sick. Resolve all that. Interested to see what this one card in hand is. <laughs> Plow is down, uh, which is not great, but it's a start. Uh, and then we kill one of the one ones. All right, uh, and we're left with very little, um, but they're not attacking with the giant 6-3, so that's helpful, theoretically. Um, okay, uh, let's see. This like leads to outs in a really odd way. <laughs> I'm gonna just pass. Uh, yeah, this is fascinating. This is a really interesting game, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I definitely, I mean, we're still probably gonna lose, but I feel like this is pretty cool. So this comes in. We definitely kill it. <laughs> okay, uh, now they attack for four. Which is annoying, but fine. Uh, yeah. I'm actually gonna hold on to this, I think. Um, as much as I'd like to, like, blood token away this, uh, for a, what, burn down the house, I suppose. Let's see, do they have anything here? The, the Cave of the Frost Dragon is active next turn. One, two, three, four, yeah. So that can just kill us, which is obviously less than ideal. Um, I'm gonna do this. Uh, here's the thing, if we get a burn down the house, I just play this, burn down the house, and then we're basically left with one card in hand each. Looks like that was not the option, that's fine. So I think I just channel this out. Uh, it gives us two blockers. Normally I would do this in the reverse order so we could get more power out of the valet, but um, I kind of just want to kill more stuff <laughs> is the takeaway here. Um, I'm not going to attack. We're on the disadvantage route. So I kind of just want them to attack in with more stuff this turn so we can play devilish valet the following turn and be able to block more efficiently. I don't know. We'll see. This is a weird, weird game. Cave of the Frost Dragon, I assume. Yep. Cool. So they're just trying to kill us as fast as they can, which is why I played these first. Oh no, seriously? <sighs> Dang it. All right, hold on. All right, sorry guys. The uh, client just like randomly crashed. Um, so we throw this down. I think I just go ahead and immediately deal one here. And now it's basically just down to the Cave of the Frost Dragon killing us, which it probably will. Look at that voice crack. Wasn't that delightful? Um, yeah, chances are we just lose this game, but that's fine. Again, I didn't expect to get any wins, so I'm, I'm just happy we got one. <laughs> uh, this has been a fun deck, though, regardless of the fact that it's just not that good. All right. 
and land. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna concede, guys. Let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, so Grixis Devils, uh, not a very good deck as it turns out. We did get one win, which again is enough for me. I did not expect a lot from this list. It was just a silly idea that I had, uh, mostly around the Diabolist that I thought would be kind of fun to try. Um, and while it was fun to try, it was not good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Surprise. Um, yeah, I don't think this is a, a, a true surprise actually to anybody. I think, you know, there's there's a lot of like little devil tokens and stuff like that that are running around in standard right now. To try and build a deck around the devil mechanic uh, of the little one ones and all that stuff is a really cool idea, but I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, I would suggest if you were to try and tool this deck out and do it the right way, maybe, um, that there's probably a different avenue to go. I think um, Meat Hook Massacre with a bunch of devil tokens sounds really cool uh, because you could literally like nerf, if you have 10 of them, you can just kind of kill the opponent. So there's a lot of opportunity there, but I don't think it worked out this time. Um, yeah, to put it lightly. So regardless, it was still a fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging out with me this Friday. Uh, we will have a collection update video tomorrow. Um, and again, guys, I just want to reiterate, if you're a content creator and you're watching this, if you want to submit a video for us um, to, to put it out in front of our audience, we actually are giving you guys an avenue to do that uh, every single week. So Saturday at noon is a great opportunity. We'll, we'll put the video up on our channel um, in front of our audience with your content. Uh, and so we're trying to, to kind of give you guys an avenue to promote yourselves a little bit. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you are a content creator. I know there's a lot of you guys watching, so I do appreciate it. And uh, I hope you will take advantage of it. But regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.